Today we are going to give a presentation on Young's modulus. And first, I'm going to give a brief biography. The English scientist Thomas Young was born in Somerset, England in 1773. The eldest of ten children, he quickly learned Greek and Latin and was familiar with several other languages by the time he was 14. He later studied in London and Edinburgh and later attained a degree of doctorate in physics in 1796. Two years later, he established himself as a physician and eventually worked for St. George's Hospital. Before his death in 1829, he was chosen as one of the eight foreign associates of the French Academy of Sciences. Many believe that his greatest achievement was he established the wave theory of light, but for those of us in structures, his most important discovery was his modulus of elasticity. Now we're going to talk about how to quantify Young's modulus of elasticity. As you can see, uh, Young's modulus of elasticity is represented by the letter E, and this is stress over strain. Um, stress is actually how hard the molecules are pushed together, and is determined by the weight of the load over the area, and strain is actually how far the molecules are pushed together and pulled apart and it is determined by the change in length over the original length. Um, now stress is actually measured in pounds per square inch and strain actually has no units at all. And now we're going to use a bungee cord to uh, calculate Young's modulus of elasticity. Now we're going to do a demonstration on how to find Young's modulus of elasticity in a bungee cord for our material. And with this bungee cord, we're going to determine the stress and the strain by taking certain values. We're going to use this 15 pound backpack and we're going to hook it to this bungee cord and we're going to measure the modulus of elasticity by using our formulas that we talked about earlier and uh, we're going to put the numbers in and come out with an answer. As you can see, we're using our bungee cord hooked to our backpack, which is 15 pounds. The original length of the bungee cord was 16 inches, and now it is 24 inches. We use the numbers we found in our demonstration to calculate Young's modulus of elasticity. First, we need to find the stress. Stress is the weight of the load over the area. To find the area, we use the formula pi r squared, with pi equaling 3.14 and our radius 0.17 inches. That gives us an area of 0 0.09 inches squared. Next, we need, to find, we need to use this area to find our stress. Stress would be the 15 pounds of the backpack over the 0 0.09 inches squared for the area, which would be 166 pounds per square inch. Next, we'll need to find the strain. The strain is the change in the length of the bungee cord with the load on it over the original length. The, uh, the length of the cord with the backpack on it was 24 inches, so the change in the length was 8 inches, and the original length was 16 inches. This gives us a strain of 0.5. Using our stress and strain values that we just calculated, we're going to find Young's modulus of elasticity. The stress was 166 psi, and the strain was 0.5, that gives us a modulus of elasticity of 332 psi, pounds per square inch. Young's modulus of elasticity is a good way of measuring the best material to use in structural construction. Higher elasticity means less deformation, which is less bending. Steel has a higher elasticity than concrete and wood in construction. Those materials will bend and break with less weight than steel requires to break. So that means steel is a much better material, so that means the, the modulus of elasticity of steel is higher and is a better material to use. We hope that you have uh, gotten a better understanding of Young's modulus and its application to steel. War Eagle.